the islands of Okinawa in the far southwest of Japan. This is an area of breathtaking scenic beauty with several world natural heritage sites. Okinawa's unique culture comes from its history as a trading hub between Japan and surrounding countries. This is the Kumiodori dance. It dates back over 300 years and traces its roots to the arts of kabuki and no. The material of the costumes is dyed using an Okinawan method called Ryukyu Bingata. This features bold, colorful designs inspired by the nature of these islands. Okinawa was the birthplace of karate, now practiced worldwide. Originally, karate on Okinawa was not meant for fighting or competition. The primary goal was to train and discipline your body and spirit. I think that if everyone used it for that purpose, it would reduce conflict in the world. A martial art that focuses not on fighting and defeating an opponent, but rather on preventing conflict. Karate continues to nurture this spirit in today's youth. One of Okinawa's universities is currently in the international spotlight. Since 2011, students and scientists have been coming here from all over the world to take part in its leading edge research. In this lab, they do pioneering work on coral reefs. Seas around the world have been steadily losing their coral reefs due to the effects of global warming. Japan is a leader in environmental DNA technology. Dr. Nishi Tsuji and his team are using this groundbreaking technology to find ways to cultivate coral. A project with global implications, fully supported by the local community of Onna village. The locals, and especially fishermen, know far more about the ocean than we do and they have been only too happy to share their knowledge with us. I hope that the work we are doing here in Okinawa will be taken up by the rest of the world, helping to preserve coral reefs everywhere and mitigate the effects of climate change on the sea. Of all the world heritages on Okinawa, Shuri Castle is the most famous and most loved. Tragically, a fire in 2019 burned down the castle's main hall. These local high schoolers have been acting as guides, explaining the castle to visitors. Those characters written over the main gate say that the purpose of the castle was to preserve order and peace in Shuri and in the world in general. In the middle of the night, sirens went off and there was an emergency radio alert telling everyone living nearby to watch out for fire spreading. People stood there in tears, watching our castle burn. I couldn't stop crying myself. When the fire was followed by the COVID pandemic, the tourism business collapsed. But despite all these setbacks, these young guides have never given up. Our group discussed what action we could take, and we came up with the idea of making a VR guide. It lets you virtually explore all the different buildings of Shuri Castle while listening to our detailed explanations. This disaster just made us even more determined to spread the word about the beauty of our castle. Restoration work is proceeding rapidly, and it's hoped the castle will reopen fully by 2026. Okinawa, where no kind of adversity can dampen the people's optimistic spirit.